Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, don't shoot the man on the sticks, we're playing for the night, 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 night. Yeah, dude, Madden 49ers. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you don't understand by now, yeah. it's the second episode where I've done that. If you don't know... Oh, oh, my, now, God. <laughs> oh my God, are you causing don't all sorts finish, of trouble? If you don't know, now you know, you don't, know. You want me to finish it? Finish what? <laughs> the line? What line? That line. Oh, yeah, I can't say that. Yeah, to edit it. I don't ever say that. <laughs> I don't I ever <laughs> I say that. that. I leave that part out. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that he said that after that line. <laughs> no, we're not getting anything racial today. Hey, we're no, we're you're no, the one that brought it up. I was just trying to make sure you didn't, you know. I, <laughs> Not that you're known for that, <laughs> but you know. <laughs> That's my M.O. Here comes this yeah, guy. Yeah, it's kind of like. slurs again. It's like I see you about to, like, walk into traffic. I'm like, hey, hey, man, be careful. <laughs> you, you want me? <laughs> <laughs> Just looking out for my best interest. Yeah. Really, I like it. Yeah. Like, I know you're not known for walking out into traffic, but, <laughs> but you know, still like, hey. I see you heading that way. I'm like, there's a car. <laughs> Fair. You're like, I saw it. I'm like, okay. All right, good enough. Just, hey, just making sure you are right. <laughs> yeah. Actually, okay. <laughs> I like it. Are you a waffle or a pancake boy? Oh, we've talked about this before. Waffles are great. Oh, that's oh, that's right. But I do, I do like pancakes. <laughs> I don't know. Which one is objectively better? Objectively? Or you're going to say, you're going to say waffles. 100%. And I'm gonna say pancake. I think, I think we already talked. You know yeah. my answer. Yeah. I like the little uh, syrup reservoirs. I don't. I don't care for the divots, dude. I don't. And I don't like how the pancake turns into a, a syrup sponge. I don't want to eat little shot glasses of syrup. All right, little sh syrup shot hey, glasses. Hey, we can agree to disagree. I want you can deliver me syrup crusted paste, <laughs> bread Ew. paste into my into my mouth. That's gross. That's what a pancake is. It's just basically like it's got to be a paste. It's gross. Pancakes are mean? not good. I don't like them. It's bread and sugar. Yeah, but it's like it like soaks in like gross. Yeah, dude, it makes a paste. It's like mortar. It is gross. Yeah, you could like. <laughs> if you were to put it out in the sun and let it dry, it would hold bricks. <laughs> it would. It probably would. <laughs> um, what's your favorite gardening tool? <laughs> How <laughs> that was easy. Oh, it's uh, funny. I was gonna ask you a gardening question too. What was a gardening? It was question? gonna be like uh, something about like mowing the lawn. Oh, I can't do that. You allergic to grass? I'm allergic to grass. You know what? My mom always told me I was allergic to grass. Like maybe, and maybe I was when she I was young. She does younger. not want you. To lawn. She's like, I don't trust him to do. Yo, it. it was crazy because like she had convinced me. Like I feel like I've been gaslit into believing that I. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, cause I'm like, well, my mom says I'm allergic to the grass. I must be allergic to the grass. But well, really, I think maybe she just took me to the hospital and they were like, well, let's keep him away from cut grass because that could aggravate his asthma or right, whatever. Right, 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 yeah. You know, by the time I was like 16, she had me out there mowing the lawn. And I was like, oh, okay, I guess Lying I'm my allergies. <laughs> I was like, you're the one who told me I had these allergies. I've been avoiding grass like the plague. I've had this unreasonable fear of grass for the majority of my life, and now I find out that I have no no problems <laughs> right. with the grass whatsoever. Yeah, I don't um, I all the allergies I have, I don't have like severe allergic reactions to. Like I don't like stop breathing and stuff. Yeah, um, you get itchy. The, sometimes, like I have a lot of food allergies, which which I mean I haven't been tested since I was a child, so I think I've outgrown a lot of them. There's a good chance, um, man. But grass still, even to this day, if I'm driving and like I drive by like an area where there's fresh cut grass, that smell, I like as soon as I start smelling that, I'm like, my like, I don't know, and it might be all in my head, I don't know, but it's huh? great. I never, I've only mowed the grass once in my whole life. So you never like went outside and like played in the grass? No, I could. It's just not if it was fresh cut. Oh, okay. All right. He like as long as like it wasn't like they just mobile on it, I was fine. And see, I, I think I recall having issues like that. Well, really, I think maybe it may lie in maybe people aren't just supposed to be hanging out in grass like that. Maybe everybody gets kind of like that kind of feeling. It could be too. Yeah, I don't know. Like, mm -hmm. I think about the kind of stuff I used to do and like sitting in the grass. Yeah, like you would just like hang out and just like I just remember Wrestling. being outside with my friends and just like we'd wrestle around or we would like sit there or, or like play, play tag, yeah, chase whatever. each other in the grass. Right, yeah. 
Like, who the hell's doing that? Nobody anymore, dude, because everybody's on their tablet. Yo, kids are stupid. Dude, I saw this I saw this commercial, and it was very much a, like... It was like a Nature's Valley commercial. Mm-hmm. But it was very much... I, I mean, the very, granola bar? What? The granola yeah. bar? Okay. And I don't know why Nature's Valley did this, but it was a very, like... It seemed like a very wholesome commercial, but I think it very much was, like, trying to, like, shove some stuff down your throat. Whoa. Essentially, yeah, granola. Like, yeah, right? No, it was, like, um, uh, it, it, like, had, like, three generations. Had, like, a grandpa, had a grand, had a mom. Oh, a touching, and, a touching visit. And it was, like, and, like, the grand, the old, like, and it, it was a few different families or whatever. And, like, the old man, the oldest man would be, like, when I was a kid. We'd go out and bl- get water from the well and Heck whatever, yeah. dude, whatever he did when he was a kid. And then the other kid used water fountains like a peasant. <laughs> yeah, no. And then the mom would be like, "Yeah, we did this, that, and the other outside." And then like, then it would show like kids like that were like twelve now, and he would be like, "If I'm really stressed out, I go and I sit down in front of my computer, and then all my problems go away." Wait, like, what? It- <laughs> Is that how they think people and, react? And then, and then the kid was like, she's like, and it shows kids like, I don't know what I would do without my iPad. I would just die. And like, because they were trying to show like technology oh addiction God. or whatever. Get and like, but I got to thinking like, s- s- there's some truth in that, I think. Oh, Jonas, you're a boomer. Wait, Jonas, because you got to understand, are you using your cell phone or is your cell phone using you? <gasps> Boom. Boom! No, but I was like, mine. Um, but yeah, like we used to just go outside. We we would make up stupid games. Yeah. Like we used to play a game called Man on the Moon. Yeah. And like, <laughs> listen how dumb this game was. Man on the Moon. Here it so comes. so we would we there would be like there was a few kids around my neighborhood and pe- oh my god what oh wow that was bad. Um, there was a few kids around my neighborhood. So like what in like my dr- the way my house was up there was like the porch steps then my driveway then like a three foot strip of grass then my neighbor's driveway sure so like one person would stand in the strip of grass and face the porch steps and everyone else would stand on the porch steps and then you would (laughs) and then you would uh call out a color (laughs) and if you were wearing that color you had to make it from the porch steps to the grass without the person calling the color tagging one of the person. And if you got tagged, then you were it. Oh. You had to make it to the grass. The grass was the safe zone. Yeah. And then you had to make it back to the steps. Sure. But the, but the one person was trying to get up to like well, five people depending on what color you called. That, that's cool. I mean, I, I respect you having rules to this game, but I'm not like champing at the bit to go out here and play. Well, man yeah, it's a book. grown ass. But I'm saying this is <laughs> dumbish we did as kids. Like, it, it would be funny though because you would like see that one person had like green on and you knew that they like you could catch them and you'd be like, green. Oh, well, yeah. And, like, <laughs> it's a kid's game. Right. Jonas, well, look, hold on, Jonas. Prior to kids having the ability to, like, live in houses and have yards to do this, kids were just, like, going around kicking around rocks. Yeah, at, like, at who a, can kick the most rocks in the Who pool? can kick a rock? Yeah, so with technology, yeah, kids aren't going to go outside as much. I don't know. I don't have an issue with it. That commercial seems a little crazy. Oh, oh, it was. It's a little one-sided. It was absolutely. I used to have to go to the well, even though I had rickets and <laughs> it was like we didn't have health you know insurance. How you can make this better. Feed them nature's valley granola bars. <laughs> my, my mom and dad smoked from the time I was born. Yeah, you don't want to fucking talk about that, do you, Grandpa? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah. I've been smoking cigarettes since I was six. Oh yeah, and your daughter? Yeah, and she's been hooked on cocaine since. <laughs> She was 17 because that's what the 90s was like or the 80s was like. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. But, it's, uh, no, it's, but, but oh, think, now it's bad. But I honestly think that, um, like, all jokes aside, I think, I think part of, like, the reason that, like, people are, like, bigger, like, obesity and stuff is as bad is, like, people aren't getting outside and doing things. A lot of people just sit on their A all day. Yeah. And, well, and the food options are trash now, too. But. Well, and it's it's only as big an issue as it is in America. We're, like, we're obviously, we're synonymous with obesity. Well, and we're spoiled as F, dude. Yeah. But look, man, 
Okay, you know, I was actually thinking about this the other day because okay. Will I am uh, he said something about are we using our cell phones or are your cell phones using you? Oh, okay, got and you. he thought it was like some profound like, statement. Like he was like the, the Dalai Lama. Yeah, and I'm looking and I'm like, yo, this is the next evolutionary step, whether you like it or not. We are cyborgs. I'm holding my cell phone up right now in a dramatic fashion. We are cyborgs, all right? Instead yeah. of having a brain implant or like a cybernetic arm, I now have a cell phone that has the sum total of the world's knowledge at my fingertips. Right, it's the next step in the in the chain. And next thing, next thing, well, eventually it would be they are going to be built into us somehow or something crazy. I'm fine with that. But we'll I'm waiting for phones. a wrist mounted cell phone. We'll be, we'll be dead. It's called an iPhone. I watch, dude. <laughs> well, there you go. I mean, no, but we'll be dead before it's like fully integrated into people. But yeah, but. I don't, I don't know if it'll ever like go to that point unless it's like maybe you're in an accident or something. But yeah. either way, if even if it does, I'm cool with it. This is the next evolutionary step. Why would I want to? not have the sum total of the world's knowledge every encyclopedia ever made every question i've ever wanted to know if i don't know what a song is guess what i do now yes this is a very vi valuable okay. device and I, and, I, and I think that's a great point does and that make does that does that make people more stupid because they don't know the knowledge themselves they just go and look it up a baseline does it make the baseline of everyone's knowledge less because everyone's so dependent on okay. a phone? Okay, then I will say, I will 100% say no, it makes people smarter. Because back in the day, if you didn't know anything, how did you get the information? <laughs> you had to guess or take You had to guess, word. you had to take your ass up to the library, you had to go and get an encyclopedia to learn what a kangaroo ate for dinner. Right, right. Okay, that makes sense. So instead of doing that... No, I can just look up what kangaroos eat, and I know the information. Right. Well, I guess, okay. Well, maybe not the baseline, but, like, just people in general, because, like, you don't feel the need to have to know it in your brain because you feel that you can just de depend on the... But, like I said, informa inf information is, like, baseline information, I feel, is like, uh, we all got that. And if you don't, then obviously you're probably suffering from some sort of, like, debilitating brain damage or something. But when it comes to, like, knowledge that we don't have, knowledge that we have to acquire, yeah. there's only one way to get it, and that's to go out there and get it. Look it up. Yeah. So you're saying, like, know the knowledge. You don't know it unless you learn it. Right. So now learning it is easier. So now knowing it is easier. Okay. Well, okay. Yes. But I guess, guess what I'm – that's not really what I'm asking either. Um, I'm, I wasn't being clear. Yeah. Do you feel that it makes people less knowledge hungry knowing that they can get everything so easy? Like people don't strive to learn more because they know they can just look it up whenever they want. I don't know if I can say there is a correlation between the accessibility to knowledge and having less hunger for knowledge. That that seems a little off. I feel like if you're hungry for knowledge, you're gonna get it. That's a, per, gonna, a person to person thing, <clears throat> not a availability of knowledge thing. I feel it's more of a person to person thing. I don't feel like that has changed any, but knowledge being more acceptable or a accessible yeah, yeah, yeah. has made it easier. Like a lot of a lot of the things they like to push on you is like because we have cell phones, we're stupider. That doesn't make sense because knowledge is more readily available. Right. If people choose not to access that knowledge, that is, <laughs> it's a different, it's a totally different subject. They're mutually right. ex exclusive. That's true because it's a personal choice for them not to like use the knowledge. Exactly. In their and frankly, I, I feel like it's not only are they mutual exclusive, but I feel like it's a, it's a ball face lot because if I hear a word that I don't know, I can just go on my cell phone and look it up. Prior to that, I would have had to go to a textbook. Right. And, and then I'm going to be preference. like, I don't want to go through all that work of going to a textbook or going to the library just to yeah. prove this person wrong or to or to uh, end an argument. 
Right. Well, and it also goes with like, yeah, like if you like you are the type of person that if you don't know a word, you want to know it, you'll look it up. If you're the type of person that doesn't care and don't want to, that's your choice to not have that knowledge. Yeah. I think it's just the ease of getting the knowledge that people feel like you're not working hard enough to get the knowledge. And that bothers people because they spent their entire life working so hard to get the knowledge that they feel like they achieved more. Yeah, because we talked about this on the podcast about having like a, a brain implant where you just know everything. And, yeah. and I said everyone would be the same amount of smart. Or yep. something, and it was like, yeah, and that was like, yo, if you go back sixty years, Jonas, you <laughs> to to end an argument, like you say that koalas like bananas, and I say that they prefer strawberries. Guess what? We're just gonna be mad at each other, and then one of us is gonna go do the research, send the other person not an email, motherfucker, a letter, or maybe call them up on a telephone. Yeah. <laughs> in the kitchen with the long cord. And be like, I went to the library and I read seven books about koalas. And- Whereas nowadays you can be like, dude, it says right here in Wikipedia, which go donate to Wikipedia, that they prefer bananas. Right. And I'd be like, all right, you got me. Yeah, right, right, right. I feel you. That makes sense. It's, uh, yeah, and you know, it's like, it just, and it may seem easy to say that, like, since people have the knowledge so easily accessible, they're less apt to be driven to learn it. Yeah. But that's all person to person based because me, if I, if I get interested in something or get curious about something, I will do so much effing research on it and read about it and, like, learn about it. And but I that's me as a driven person to mm-hmm. acquire knowledge. Like, and I don't think that you're the only person out there that does that. And I don't think that. And I think that kids are more apt to, if they have a question in, in school or if they have a question about something, they know how to use the internet. Kids know how to use the internet. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Better than me or you. So I don't understand how they can be so ingrained in the, what is essentially all the knowledge in the, of, of the, that we have and not be use, utilizing it yeah i understand video games are a big thing now and yes that that is a problem this is replaced outside yeah okay but i mean i'm gonna be completely real hot take if that would have been available when i was a kid i would have sat inside and talked to my friends on the internet and not gone outside either um i definitely did man i was you know we were in those fledgling ages man i remember being on the on the house phone I with can't, somebody yeah, i can't do anything the game <laughs> just gotta sit i through. can't do any nothing is happening no, the clock's gotta... running out i'm gonna get a penalty no buttons time work. out ah oh, that worked <laughs> good call <laughs> finally but yeah but like, yeah i remember sitting in the house on the on the house phone talking to somebody while playing warcraft or uh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I used to, um, yeah, we used to do that. Like, or we, yeah. But it, it was, um... Nintendo. Yeah, it'd be Nintendo, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude, it was... Well, see, but the other thing is, too, that, like, we would just have, like, people over and play games. But then you had to take turns. Nowadays, you can all play together and talk at the same time. You're just not in person. And the thing is, is that these people can be in a different state. I've known Killer King for 10 years. He has never lived within 500 miles of me, right. yet I've been able to play with him for 10 years, and that right. relationship has flourished. There's other people who have had relationships, people who you haven't seen from Ohio and Cleveland. You can get online, and you can talk to those people at any point in time. That is objectively and, better. And do a, an activity with them. It's objectively better, yep. but because it's not what we were used to. I don't understand why people always want to regress <laughs> Best technology. Stop. You can't fight it. It's never going to work. Right. Being pissed off about kids playing video games and talking to Chinese people from. Well, guess what? They never want to talk to these Chinese people before. If anything, they're getting more knowledge, more information because they're dealing with a diverse set of friends. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Get off your cell phone. Yes, okay. You shouldn't be on your cell phone all the time, especially if you're just like watching bullcrap YouTube videos or anything. On the same note, man, it's probably better than most of the stuff they put on TV. Yeah, yeah. Let's well, uh, it's, well, you know what's kind of funny about like the cell phone age is like people don't have as many hobbies anymore, I feel. Because like a lot of times, like, yeah. it was, like especially like, like being like on dating websites and like whatever, like. You try to like ask people like what do you what do you what do you like to do like what do you do? Oh, you yeah, watch Netflix, play on my phone, like. But, yeah, okay, I get that, but what do you what do you, you run into that? What do you? 
what do you do? Like, what do you like to do other than like, I I have run many many times. Like, I'd be like, well, do you, you have any hobbies? Like, what do you like? Do anything creative? Do you what do you like? To, they're like, no, I'm just busy. I work, and you know, I want, you know, it's like they basically just say more or less say no. I don't do anything but sit around and watch Netflix, play on my phone, and go to work. And I bet you there's a lot of people that do that. Or people play video games instead of watch TV, which is fine. I mean, whatever your choice of entertainment is. But basically, it's like sit and watch something, sit and play something, or play on your phone. And that's what people do. People don't have hobbies. I mean, a lot of people do, but like a lot of people don't. A lot of people just literally sit on their phone all the time. I f yeah, I, s I could see like people with kids falling into that rut. Yeah, because... 100%. Yeah. Well, I mean, I find myself, dude. Like, if I'm... If I'm not doing anything, I'll sit down and start playing on my phone. Next thing I know, like, two hours has gone by. And I'm like, what have I been doing? I'm reading Reddit or looking at whatever or whatever. It's like, so I see how it can happen. Is but I also have out other outside things I like to do. Is that what we're supposed to do? Are we supposed to do stuff? I mean, you is only have so much time on this planet. Yeah. Like, it depends how you want to. Do you want to do things? Do you want to sit <laughs> playing on your phone? I'm, I'm just trying to figure out, man. Is that the American dream to just, have, like, have... A plethora of hobbies that you engage in? I don't know. I don't know either. It's like, what is? I guess it's what's most fulfilling to you. Are you fulfilled by sitting on your phone all night? Or are you unhappy by that? I think a lot of people are unhappy with their lives, but that's what they do. They don't try to find anything else. Uh, like, okay, there, there lies that. Yeah, so if like you're if you're unfulfilled and you don't do anything about it because you're hooked on your phone or whatever. Put the phone down. Grab a damn pen. All right. Right. Draw. <laughs> I don't that's know. so lame. <laughs> Carve a pumpkin. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> but that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. Just, just come on to the crazy town train. Dark side. Yes. Uh, for Jonas. TNT Dynamite. Catch you later. We are out.